Hello friends. Today we are on day 37, day 37, had to consult my notes, of the 1001 tarot spreads. It is an unstructured four card reading, meaning this is just how to get, use four cards to get information about any given topic, any given question. This week I will be using, well I shouldn't necessarily say this week, until it feels right to switch again, I will be using the Wizard's Tarot for these next set of readings. It is one I have not done a lot of readings with, as it is one of my newer decks. I've only had it for, I think, three or four months. But I bought it and it promptly sat on a shelf for a while, so it's kind of begging to be used. Um, yeah, let's get into it. I'm also testing some new equipment today because I bought a second camera. So if I look like I'm contorting myself in weird angles, it's because I'm still figuring out with the camera there and one over here that you can't quite see because I deliberately put it out of frame because it looks down on the table. So I will be able to cut between the two viewpoints so you can actually see the cards on the table now. I'm still figuring out exactly how high. I think I actually need to get a bigger table for this because this table is a bit small and I don't feel like I can get the camera high enough off this table to get a good view. So I think that is sufficiently shuffled. Again, four card reading of unstructured, just, just a reading. So my question I'm trying to think of a generic question, one that we can all benefit from. We're at the beginning of a month, so let's go, what should I, what should we keep in mind as this month continues? Because we just started September. So what should I keep my eyes on for this month of September? And so these four cards are in no particular order. They're not saying anything specific to each position. Instead, it is a, a snapshot. Take these four cards in tandem and let's see what, what we've got. Okay, so we have the Chariot. We have Justice. The Page of Swords. And the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so Chariot is Quick Changes. Be prepared for, for rapid changes in social environment, finances, job, something. Considering that we also then have the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Swords, that sounds like there's going to be something going on financially, which totally fits the world right now. So much is going on financially and it's concerning. In this case, them both being pages means that it's the start of something and that young people have the opportunity to greatly influence whatever this change is. Uh, with the inclusion of the card of justice, particularly with all the young, the, the youth energy in this, there, I anticipate some sort of major economic change driven by younger individuals seeking justice or seeking the righting of wrongs. I'm not sure how that will develop because that is really broad. But again, broad question for a broad audience. I would listen to the advice of those who typically you would look at as younger than you. They're going to have unexpected wisdom for you this month. I know for myself, because I'm in my mid-30s, that means probably some 18-year-old who I don't know yet is going to give some really solid advice that I was not anticipating. That might look different in your individual situations, but do not just discredit it because they're young. They have a different way of viewing problems because of their youth. Alrighty. That is our unstructured four-card reading for reading number 37.
I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, and if you really liked it, go ahead and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you on the channel next time. Walk in the light, my friends. Bye.